so hello everyone in this video we'll be completing our register user uh, controller basically so first of all i'll be grabbing the fields which will be uh, storing inside our user controller or basically uh, user collection uh, the fields will be first name last name username password so these four fields will be grabbing from the requested body and uh, before that i have to import the user uh, model as well from the models uh, file so that i will be using so i can uh, grab user from require models folder slash uh, user we have that right so i can grab that and before that i have to check whether any uh, other person is available in our database collection or user collection with this username or not so we are checking for the duplicate basically so i will be writing a wait here let me just write everything in a try catch that will work so we can also catch the errors right uh, let me just console log the error and if it is the error then we can send that error back so this is it now i'll be uh, cutting everything and pasting inside this and i can find user with this username basically and i will be making a check that if duplicate user is there and the duplicate length is greater than zero then i can return res dot send or status symbol i can write i can write 400 let's say i can write message which says user already registered with this username so i'm uh, checking if the user is uh, greater than zero and then we'll be let me just make it in a block so it is more clearer and i'm returning it because i don't want to continue again and just i want to return the this message to the user that you are, you cannot use this username if it exists in our user collection already after that if it is not there then we can simply write that so we can simply create this user with the help of new keyword and then i can specify the data which is nothing but this these things i can specify that so it will create uh, this user and then i can save it so let me just save it uh, by user dot save i can store the result in a separate constant variable and i can add an await here if i want after that after it is successfully saved i can send the status of 201 that it is created and i can send a message let's say message user registered successfully or you can uh, write any message that you would like and i can also log this result if i want so we can see uh, what we have stored basically so this uh, register controller is completed let's check it with the postman so i will be sending first name first name let's say the first name will be john then i'll be sending last name let's say the last name will be do after that i can this is basically for api testing so if you have installed it so you can easily work with that or you can see other tutorials uh, for this if you want a complete guide of this i'll just be checking this route whether this is working perfectly fine or not so you always check your backend routes with postman if it is working 
without the front end or not then I can specify username let's say John do right and after that I can specify let's say password I can specify password as John at the rate one two three so all these things are done if I send the request to register out you can see I'm getting the message user registered successfully and if I go to my server you can see the log is also there and this ID is automatically generated which means whenever the data is uh, stored in the database this ID is automatically generated uh, by the MongoDB and this dash dash V or underscore underscore V is also now this is this person detail is stored and you can see the password is hashed automatically we didn't hashed password here instead it uh, is automatically done with the help of uh, our models like in this we wrote that uh, pre method right so with the help of that we also hashed our password if we see that in our compass mongodb compass so it should be available to us you can see this to do is available now because we made use of that user collection and some data is there and you can see users collection is there if we go to the users collection now you can see we have the data uh, the ID is generated by the MongoDB itself we don't need to create ID for each of the uh, documents then first name uh, last name and username John Doe password let's say if I again send the request with the same username let's say so it should give me some error you can see it is saying a user already registered with this username so it is not uh, giving me uh, the like it is not again saving the password it is not basically saving the duplicate items if the username already exists so we cannot use this username again so our uh, route is working our controller is working perfectly fine now what we can do is uh, we'll be working on the login route then we'll be going into the front end and then we'll be creating the simple front end for login and sign up and then we'll be working on the to do app so that is it for this video i hope you got something thank you for watching let's meet in the next video